Hi, Lou Eckes again from Tropic Baron USA here at Interzoo 2024. We're talking today a little bit about the different questions that come up for people all the time. So for instance, we have this gorgeous little Ganiapora here who looks really super happy today. He's really <laughs> extended his polyps. He's having a great time. There are a million different types of aquariums that you might keep a coral like this in. All kinds of different systems that you might have. Maybe you have a sump, maybe you don't have a sump. You have certain lighting, maybe you have metal halide, or maybe you have this kind of skimmer or that kind of skimmer. There's a million different ways you can do this. So one of the questions that we get asked all the time is people say, Lou, you've got four different salts. Which salt should I be using for my aquarium? And the answer to this depends on how you like to keep your system. You can really use any of these salts in a wide variety of applications. The deciding factors are, how do you want to keep your system? So let's just talk briefly about what those factors might be. So for the classic salt now, you've got a slightly higher alkalinity, about nine and a half or so, nine to 10 dKH. And because we have this higher alkalinity now, you've got a slightly lower calcium and magnesium, not drastically low, just lower than um, maybe what we have in our pro reef. You can't have both high alkalinity and high calcium. You have one or the other. A lot of people like to keep their reefs up at nine or 10 dKH then the classic salt is for you. Now, if you'd like to keep your reef a little bit closer in alkalinity to natural seawater, keep in mind now, natural seawater is about 6.5 dKH. Then you wanna go with the Pro Reef Salt. I know I'm gonna get a lot of emails now from people that say, natural seawater, 6.5? Yeah, it actually is. Everybody thinks in the US, they're often thinking that natural seawater is much higher. But if you look at the alkalinity on a coral reef, right about 6.5. The Pro Reef Salt has an alkalinity of between seven and eight, all right? So you're keeping that alkalinity a little bit lower. One of the advantages of the Pro Reef is now, since we've lowered that alkalinity, we can now raise the amount of calcium and magnesium in the salt. So you get a little bit more calcium, magnesium, a little bit less alkalinity if you wanna keep your reef down there. Now, if you have an automatic water change system where you're mixing up a bunch of salt water and you're using that salt water throughout the month to do automatic water changes, you need to stick with either the Pro Reef or the Classic. The other two grades of salt, you can't hold those for more than about 36 or 48 hours. We'll talk about why in just a second. So, classic, higher alkalinity, slightly lower calcium magnesium. Pro Reef, lower alkalinity, slightly higher calcium and magnesium. Now we go to the bioactive system salt. The way we make the bioactive system salt is to start with Pro Reef, add one additional DKH, so where you've got seven to eight in the Pro Reef, you now have eight to nine in the bioactive system. We also add the Reef Actif. This is the very mild, very gentle, very natural form of carbon dosing. So now, every time you do a water change, you're automatically doing this wonderful, gentle carbon dosing in your system. It happens automatically but you need to be someone that's doing those water changes on a regular basis, not with an automatic water change system, because you can only hold this once it dissolves for about 36 hours or so, 36 to 48 hours. Why? Because the biopolymers, these natural biopolymers in the reef actif, polymers like to chain up. They, they merge together. So what happens is if you hold this solution too long, the polymers chain up and you get these kind of, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna use kind of a bad term here. You get these kind of slimy blobs in the salt. They don't hurt anything. They just don't look really good. So you don't really wanna hold this for more than about 36 hours. Now, the other grade of salt that we have is our symbiotic salt. With the bioactive salt, this carbon dosing is really helping your invertebrates. It's making that, that phosphate that they need much more available to them. But we're supporting the invertebrates more than the vertebrates with the bioactive system. For the symbiotic salt, we start, just like we started with the Pro Reef to make the bioactive, 
we start with the bioactive to make the symbiotic. We take the bioactive salt and now we add probiotics in addition to the carbon dosing. So now you've got probiotics for the vertebrates to help their digestive tracts, to keep them healthier, to have them utilize the proteins that you're putting in the tank more effectively. And you're still getting the benefit of that gentle, slow carbon dosing of the refract teeth. Both the symbiotic and the bioactive system salt cannot be held for about more than 36 or so hours. So no automatic water changes on these guys, only on the other two. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into which salt you wanna use. And you can see that it's less about what your system is made of and more about how do you wanna maintain that system. Thanks so much. If you have other questions, send me an email. I'd love to answer them for you.